So that one and this one. So, okay, so thumbs here. Check it out. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Okay, no music, as usual. It that stares, an H drop 8 8, play obliterate all landmarks or deal 2 damage to all other units. Whoa. Wow, that's a that's a pretty strong tech card. Like you got this to destroy aggro. You have this. Like if landmarks become like really strong, which like I, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be like being pushed to. This this could be like a really a really serious thing because it destroys all landmarks. So like me have Soraka Tom Kent, you stack two of them, you just pff, get out of the way. Plus this is an eight eight on a stick, so I see this thing getting nerfed. Like it's gonna be like a like either a nine drop eight eight or it's gonna be like a eight drop. 6-6 six, six or something. Something something like that in that range. Because this this ability can be like super strong. Especially at getting rid of like aggro. Like this 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 by itself can like stomp aggro. I mean, especially in Frodo, if you ramp really fast, by turn six or so, you can have an 8-8 eight, eight out. If you're not dead by turn six. So that's that's where the thing actually kind of be, because yeah, that'd be pretty strong. I almost forgot. Do, 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 do. Scar ground, see landmark. Okay, so this is gonna actually be a, a actual tech landmark for Frill Jord. Then uh, ally survives damage granted plus one to, and tough. This, this actually this would be really good for Vladimir, like the Vladimir Brawn deck. Like this, this would make it actually really ridiculous because if if it only gives tough, but once they've been hit once, you just trigger Vladimir's effect with this, and then they just like they get buffed naturally. It's like the the four drop from Noxus that like does it, but this actually gives tough, so it's even stronger. Wow. I mean, tough don't stack, so if you have two of them, doesn't do anything. It just like gives extra attack, but this this can be really really good. Actually, that'd be really nice. I can't even see. Ooh, yeah, that might be really interesting. Monastery of Hirana. Wrong star. Create a sanctuary and hand. What's a sanctuary? So three drop sanctuary. Sanctuary, recall an ally, can't be cast in combat or in response to a spell. Okay, they're gonna have to like pray make this a little bit define a little bit better. Because it's recall an ally, can't be cast in combat or in response to a spell. I thought sanctuary would like just the concept of sanctuary means you're like you're trying to save them, like you pull them out. That's the whole that's the whole thing. But if it can't be, what's the point of putting it in battle then? I guess they, they put it like this so you can't just like you know throw a blocker and then pull it out so they that you can't get hit unless they have like overwhelm or something. But I mean I'll have to see something to work with this because this this seems like it's gonna be kind of an issue to like work around, so we have to see how that works. Do, 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 do. Homecoming, recall an ally unit or landmark, recall an enemy unit or landmark, bar drop. So this is so this is like an alternate version to Will of Ionia. So you have like Will of Ionia and then you have this. So it's going to be like you Will of Ionia just to get rid of their stuff. And then you have this one, which is recall. So, okay, so the, the uh, future of Ionia is going to be more of, you know, I put stuff in the field and bring it back. So it's just going to be the whole switch swapping kind of thing. I mean, there's a couple cards that, you know, when it's summoned, they get, they get buffed. Like the, that, oh, what's that, two drop? It summons and summons a copy. Well, uh, another one that has like the same stats as it. So. If you keep doing this, you can probably do this with um the elder that every time he brings to the field, he comes out. So I mean, re recall Ionia was gonna be that's what it kind of pushing toward. Kind of looks like that, especially with sanctuary. So yeah, it can be like that that elder constantly coming out and just constantly buff your hand. But unless you have something that on the field to protect yourself, I don't really see how that's gonna work. This would be this it might be too this might be too expensive. Like this might might need to be a four drop. I know honestly because it's fast, but you need a unit to actually activate it. So yeah. Wiggly Verbal Fin, reduce my cost by one for each spell you've cast this game. When I'm summoned, create a one cost spell from your region in hand. Wait, when I'm summoned, create a one cost spell from your region in hand. Use my cost plus one for each spell you've cast. It's a six drop, so all you need, arguably, you need three spells to make this like kind of competitive. But it's still got one health though, so it, it can still be pinged off. Especially with this like the current meta, like everything's just pinging. Everything's just a bunch of pings. So I don't see this working. I think this is probably gonna be they're gonna have to buff this and make this like a three two, which is kinda insane if they do that. Cause it's it is elusive. 
and it creates a card. So it's not like it the 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 spell goes up each time you play like a spell, so like it starts stacking, like uh, the Piltover card. So this could be useful, but I don't really see it as such. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to see. Boom ship, deal one damage to a unit, you summon a powder keg, you get the amount of damage dealt. Interesting. Okay, so you just need to st you need to stack kegs. Or you have things that uh, you have naturally something that, that buffs it, so then you start playing and you just get more kegs and then you just make them stronger so that your kegs do more damage. So this can be really good with like the the boom decks. That's very nice. Do, 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 do. Right here, that's it. All right, let's check the other one. Stop. Check the other one. So it's the other one. All right, let's do a little time to like find what's going on. No, hold up. Hold up. Give it, give it, give a second to like fix itself. Fix yourself. You need better quality here. Okay, here we go. It's a little bit better. It'll, it'll, it'll clear up in a couple seconds. The Grand Plaza, three drop. When an ally is summoned, granted plus one of and challenge this round. What? Yo, this is this is really good, like really good. Especially with Demacia, and they have like for the Fallen on top of that. That's really good. Like, do you, if you play this right, and then your opponent wipes your board with like Ruination, and then you play for the Fallen, and then this on top with and this with for the Fallen. That's kind of insane. That's almost like a game winner. It's like that. Um, it's like that 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 unit that buffs, but this actually lasts for a turn, but it also gives challenges, so you can like preemptively like start taking out people. So yeah, this is actually really good. Oh, with the Undying deck, that you know every time it dies, like, it comes back like this. With that on top of it, just gets buffed, hits, comes back, dies, comes back. Like it just starts stacking. Like oh, that's gonna be ridiculous. This. This card, this card might be meta defined. This is crazy good. Captain Arika, Arika, Erika, Erika, Captain Arika. It's an eight drop, six six spell shield. Play capture a unit or landmark. And it's an elite. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is pretty strong. This is very actually no. This is very strong because usually let me see. Capture. Capture on in Demacia is a five cost, right? This essentially is a capture on a stick. For essentially two costs, it's a six six. So you make that competitive. It'll be a six. Um, you sit stats. So it's a six 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 stats. Plus. Basically, a two cost capture, and it's got spell shield. So that's like seven costs instead. That's like seven. That's like a seven drop then. That's like a seven six six with a spell shield to compensate for the for the attack difference. So you have spell shield. So you, it's protected from one removal or one uh, target, and you can capture to, to grab one of their landmarks or their unit. So if they're like going off. You just remove it. You can get rid of ledgers. You just remove it, and it's a unit. It's not you know. A follower, it's a unit, so you can take out their their champions, and you can go landmark. This this is good. This is really good. I don't know how, how honestly how often you'll be able to play this because at least this is a play spell, which is great. So it's not you know just summon and just capture the unit. It's kind of ridiculous, but you know play spell is actually really good because you get to play it, target it, and then do something, which is actually really nice. So this this could be really good. Like if if Demacia gets the late game, this could be really like really game changing. Evershade Stalker, Nightfall, create a copy of me in hand. Okay. It can block. It's got fearsome.
I mean, on its stats, it looks okay. It's a 2-drop two 2-2, two two, which is fine. 2-drop two 2-2 two two to Fearsome is pretty good, because you can then Fearsome. The fact that it knifles and copies itself is really good. So if you figure a way to buff it in your hand, and you start playing this... Yeah. Wait, wait, would it, would it copy the buff in your hand? I think it would. Yeah, so... You probably make okay, so if this goes with like that Ionia card that's about to like put stuff in your hand and Yeah, and you have Ionia cards that buff stuff in your hand and you have this. And you just nightfall and you start copying and start buffing, start copying and start buffing. This could probably be a, a interesting aggro tool. Just like straight off the bat, just an interesting aggro tool. But they die at the end of the turn, which is the big uh, downside. But yeah, with Ionia, you also have the thing that removes um, ephemeral off of it, so you can just bring it forward. It can't block either, so they 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 thought this card very much ahead. So if you figure a way to remove the ephemeral, you can't block with it. So that's at least good. They've at least thought this out, so it's not going to just be like ridiculously crazy at the end. But yeah, this is this thing's pretty nice. I'm not even gonna lie, this thing's pretty nice. Uh, with nightfall, that means this will probably have to come out like turn at bare minimum, probably turn four, because turn three is just useless. Like you can get it and it comes out, you got you have a unit to attack with. But I mean, it dies, so it it triggers Callista. It triggers Lucian, so that's good. So it's coming later, later, later. Um, hmm. maybe, maybe. I have to see this like this. I have to see this more, but this it has potential like of really being a nice, nice aggro tool. But like late game would be pretty terrible. But yeah, this seems like a nice, nice aggro tool. Just like you need to just start attacking somebody. Yeah, this seems this seems really useful. Pesky, Spectre, Ephemeral, Zero Cause, 1-1, one, one, Last Breath, Create 2 Cops in the, in the enemy deck. Wait, what? It's a Zero Cause 1-1, one, one, right? So you just attack, it dies, and you put 2 Cops in your opponent's deck. This is a meme card. Like, this is this is not competitive. If you This is basically if you just want to mess with your opponent. And then they mess with you, so you, you just, you're literally just tossing these things into each other's deck. So this is, this is just being, a, this is just being annoying. It's an annoying card. I'm going to toss like this thing to your deck and you're just going to wait for it and it's going to come up with more need. They just draw these garbage cards. But it, you, they put it back into your deck, so it's not like that good. I mean, you can make copies of this. You can duplicate it. You can you can do one because it costs zero, so you can just you can start putting stuff with it. That's pretty interesting. And it's like it's easy triggers, too. It's like a simple trigger. Yeah. So the, the one drop from Shadow Isle is with this. Will automatically become a three three, just from playing this. Playing this attack, boom, 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 three three instantly. That's interesting. Moonlight affliction with a five cost burst spell, silence two enemy units this round. Nightfall they can't block this round. <sighs> Wait, what? Whoa, they can't block this round. So this is a game ender. This is legit a game ender. If you have this, you've bursted out with Nightfall, they can't, because you can trigger out Nightfall pretty quickly, and pretty easily, actually. You stack it, and then, ooh. Ooh, because two, two units, that can be, yeah, that's the difference between, like, life and death. They can't block something. Silence two enemy units this round, so that that's, so the silence is preemptive, like, if they're going to do something to you, you silence their stuff, so you can take it out. Nightfall is when you want to finish them. So this is a good finishing card. This is really nice. This is a really good finishing card. So aggro Nightfall is gonna be it's gonna be very much stronger. So let's see what else we got. Uh, Solari Sunforger Daybreak give me life steal this round. The Forger five four five. Wait a second. That's significant. Because a five five drop life steal is that's that's really big. Like if you think of what's what's that card? Um, the Demacian card. If, so four or five, it's tough if it like something's died, and that card gets annoying. This is this is something preemptive, and you can do it into the round, or if they're going about to attack you, you can play it into the round, so they just ready to to take it off. So this can be really nice. This is a, a big anti aggro tool, but you have to when you're attacking into something, or like they're attacking to you. If I'm attacking into it, because I'm I love aggro, so. For this, I have to remove the card that this is blocking, or I have to get get rid of this. Which, both of which is pretty interesting. But you got the affliction to just silence this. Pff, this does nothing. I can go through this like like you know like paper. So that's actually pretty interesting. 
Targon's Peak. Hey, it's, uh, the big guy. And I'll start reduce the cost of a random card in each player's hand to zero this round. It's a good thing this thing is round start. Because, like, when you play this, they... When you play this, your opponent has the upper hand on this. And since and since how Rune Terror is so set up so awesome, where, you, like, you both can go... Like, they play something, I play something, they, they have that interaction, it's really good. But the fact that this is a random card, that means you can literally play, uh, like, Harrowing, right? And they do something. They, can, they, they play Harrowing, and then they can wipe your board, and then you play Harrowing again. Like, they play something, you play, like, Ledros for free. Uh, you play Tredemir for free. You play Big Enders for free at turn six. So, this right here can be amazing. The thing that's really interesting... This card would be pretty funny if, like, actually, that's pretty messed up. Like, they, the opponent plays this. You play the uh, the throw draw card that destroys landmarks. I mean, they'll still get a, a free cost card, but it's just like, oh, no more. That's actually pretty funny. That's actually pretty funny. I like that. Okay. So these are just, all right, what else we got? Okay, so that's it? All right, cool. All right, so that looks pretty nice. Like, the new stuff that's coming out is going to be really cool. All right, cool. I can't wait. I can't wait to see like the next bunch probably later on today, but yeah, that's good. I like them. I like I like these cards. These are the these are the regions that are these are almost what all the regions that are not gonna be buffed essentially because I didn't think any of these were yeah none of them were Piltover, none of them were Noxus, none of them were well there there was some Targon in there, but mostly Piltover and Noxus wasn't in there, so it's like some of the other cards that need to be added just you know to spice it up a bit. So I think I think they give like maybe four or four or so to like the other regions. Something like that. But yeah. So that's cool. That's great. Nice. 